Welcome to another episode of the Startup Sec podcast, where we do interviews with Sacramento startup founders and innovators. Today, I'm with Tracy Shafazada from Evolve Biosystems. Welcome, Tracy. Let's start off with you introducing yourself and tell us a little bit about your background. Great. So I am the Director of Scientific Communications for Evolve Biosystems. Uh, I've been with the company uh, coming up on two years now. My background is actually in nutritional science. I uh, did my nutritional science PhD work at UC Davis with actually many of the founders of the, of the company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for those who aren't aware of what Bo Evolve Biosystems does, can you describe what it is you guys do and some of the innovations that um, you guys have developed over the years? Great. So Evolve is a microbiome company specifically focused on the infant gut microbiome. So really understanding the ecosystem of the newborn intestine, uh, mammalian milk, and that interaction between the components of mammalian milk and the microbes that live in the intestine of newborns. This spans from human all the way to animal health as well. So okay. what are some of the practical products or services that you guys um, market? Great. So really the the innovation i believe at evolve is really the fact that we've pioneered the approach to developing probiotics mm. and in what i mean by that is rather than um kind of choosing the uh, a bacteria to put in a product because um, of its uh, popularity or its stability on the shelf we've really understood the ecosystem of what bacteria are intended to be in the intestine at very specific times in the life cycle. So we have really focused on understanding the microbes that are, interact with the components of mammalian milk and being able to develop products specifically to restore or establish or maintain the appropriate microbiome for that specific time uh, in the life cycle. So is this a business to business um, business model where you, you're marketing your product to uh, say infant uh, food makers, that kind of thing? So this is actually, uh, we have products on the market right now. Evivo is a product specifically for moms to be able to provide to their newborns. Uh, it can also be used in a hospital setting. So specifically we have a, an e-commerce site uh, where moms can come to our website, choose the right bundle of products for their newborn at that time, and be able to provide this product to their babies at home. We also have a similar product that can be used in, the, in a clinical or hospital setting where physicians or healthcare providers can give it directly to babies in a clinical setting. Uh, similarly, we have uh, Glycoguard, which is a product for newborn foals that veterinarians or horse owners can give directly to their newborn foals uh, just after birth, again, to establish and maintain uh, the healthiest and most optimal gut microbiome for that age group. So <clears throat> I assume all this came out of um, UC Davis, right? Mm -hmm. So what, what's the kind of the backstory of that? Right. How long did it, when did it evolve and how long ago and, and what's the development process been like for uh, Evolve Biosystems? It's, it's actually a beautiful story. So our five founders are all research faculty at UC Davis, really well known in their areas of food science, dairy science, and microbiology. And it's been about 15 years of research on specifically this interaction between uh, human milk specifically and the infant gut microbiome. And the researchers were, the founders or researchers uh, behind our company were able to really uh, discover probably the most uh, pivotal innovation in uh, behind our company which is 15% of the components of human milk are indigestible by the human infant and that that really was remarkable nature or biology rarely does anything that's wasteful or, or casual so the fact that 15% of the nutrients in milk uh, are not digestible by the baby that was the discovery from our group at UC Davis was what actually is utilizing those components. And it turns out there's a specific bacteria in the infant of newborns that in the, in the large intestine that's able to consume and convert that, those components of human milk that are indigestible by the baby and turn them into something that the infant can actually use. Hmm. It's really incredibly important in many immunological and metabolic events that are happening very early in life that set the trajectory for lifelong health. And for those who aren't aware, there's been a lot of research uh, and discovery lately that the, the human gut microbiome is really critical to our health. Um, so you're basically playing off those discoveries. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think I would say that the majority of research in the microbiome space really is focused on adult health. Mm -hmm. 
we are one of the very few companies and research teams that are focused specifically on infant health and really under the premise of if you can get it right in the first six months of life in terms of your optimal microbiome, it really does set the stage for long-term health uh, or chronic disease. That's fantastic. So <clears throat> Evolve Biosystems was the winner in the medical and health technology category at last year's Sacramento Region Innovation Awards. Can you talk a little bit about what that experience was like for you and your team? Absolutely. I think uh, more than anything, it allowed us to have visibility beyond uh, just our small space in Davis and, and maybe the university and really got us connected to the, uh, the innovation and entrepreneurship that's really happening in the Sacramento region. And those connections are incredibly useful for us as we, um, one of our biggest challenges is really just reaching moms and reaching our target audience and helping healthcare professionals understand what we're doing. So um, that connectivity was incredible. It also allowed us to really think about honing our message and articulating exactly our mission and what we're doing uh, in, in a way that was much more external facing than perhaps we had been able to do before. So um, a wonderful experience and is really um, the connections that we've made through that process have been incredibly valuable. So what's what's happened with the company or in the years that it's transpired since mm -hmm. you won that award? So last fall, the Innovation Awards took place. We didn't have any products on the market. Mm. Since then, until now, we have launched two products. As I mentioned, Evivo for, for infants mm -hmm. and GlycoGuard for, for newborn foals. Um, the process of launching two new products, two new brands, we had to start from scratch from both of those and, and kind of creating and, and delivering those brands. Um, that, that has been an incredibly uh, taxing but a very, very fulfilling process to be able to do that. And we're getting great <coughs> traction on both of those. We are really focused on continuing the, the research behind uh, the infant gut microbiome and making sure that the, um, the research pipeline is, it continues to be rich. Uh, we're publishing papers regularly, we're, we're speaking at major scientific and clinical conferences as we continue to promote the, the actual products on the market. So what can we expect to see from Evolve Biosystems in the next year or so? So you will definitely be able to see more and more clinical evidence behind the work that we're doing, behind the products that we have on the market, continuing to show uh, both near-term and long-term uh, health benefits to uh, the products that we have. Also we're, we're looking at running new clinical trials to look to see what other kind of products we can bring to market beyond just for the newborn baby and the newborn foal um, and, and really trying to expand who we can reach with our, our products around the microbiome. And before I forget, uh, people want to look at, we'll have a link to your website on, mm -hmm. on the website, but what is, what is the website? How can people find you and find your products? So EvolveBiosystems.com okay. is our corporate website. It is going to really go into detail of the science behind the products that we uh, are developing. You could also go to Evivo.com or GlycoGuard.com to specifically learn more about those products and, and the application of those products okay. as well. So, um, we've mentioned the Sacramento Business um, Innovation Awards a couple times. You're going to be a judge, or have been a judge, in this year's awards. Uh, talk a little bit about that, what that experience is like for you. Absolutely. So, so really, Evolve is really working at the intersection of food, nutrition, and the microbiome. So really, a, 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 the intersection of um, food and nutrition and, and the medical and health space. So for me to be able to see the incredible list of submissions in both the med tech, the health tech, and the food and ag space has been so inspirational to see um, the increased number of, of what I would consider innovative and entrepreneurial uh, activities in the area. The Sacramento area really, I think, has the ability to become leaders in, in the intersection of food and, and health, and, and it's very obvious from the submissions we've seen this year. So I know you probably can't reveal who the, uh, what the choices are, but um, talk a little bit more about what you've seen as far as in the, in, not just for the Innovation Awards, but as far as the med tech and biotech space in the region. Um, what is, what are, what's innovation like here compared to other regions or how, what, what do we need to improve on or how, what are we doing great? Um, kind of like a, 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 a grade or a, a report card, if you will. Um, of how things are going for that sector here. One thing I'm really impressed with is the utilization of some of the bioinformatics and software and some of the more um, 
uh, technological platforms to really deliver personalized medicine and uh, very tailored both nutritional and, and medical approaches to, to health mm -hmm. and wellness. And, and I think that kind of collaborative effort uh, with the resources we have in the area from UC Davis and Sac State and some of the other um, high tech and med tech innovations here, I, I really, I'm, I'm impressed with that collaborative approach to really solving um, some of the bigger challenges in, in health and wellness in the area. What do we need to improve? I know I've seen a lot of um, talk about we need more wet lab space in the area. Is there anything else we can do to improve and, and make ourselves even stronger? In my opinion, I think it would be incredibly useful not only have to have more of that wet lab and incubator space for people to be um, at the bench and, and doing that research, but also probably more visible um, opportunities to interact and cross-pollinate, mm. if you will, uh, with people in different sectors for that toward that collaborative goal that I was mentioning before. Okay, interesting. So switching gears a little bit, um, you've your judge on this year's awards, what kind of advice would you give other entrepreneurs, other founders, uh, innovators out there working on their startup? Um, what piece of advice would you give? So one thing that I found as being a judge in this process this year for the Innovation Awards is that it is very obvious when there is a passion for the mission behind the company and a, a spirit of innovation that can be articulated in any any submission or um, or delivering of any key messages around your company it is it is incredibly obvious when it is a cut and dry um, and maybe passionless mm. uh, kind of articulation of the message versus someone who can really embody and and express the passion behind what they're doing and to me that sets uh, the winners really apart from any of the runners up or other submissions mm -hmm. that we saw Okay, well, so wrapping up, I uh, want to thank you again for your time and looking forward to seeing great things from Evolve Biosystems. Any, any last shout outs or, or, or anything you'd like to give from yourself or to your team at, at Evolve? I'm, I'm honored and excited to be part of the Sacramento region and really be at the heart of what I consider uh, a revolutionary uh, time and place for innovation in health and wellness and, and ag uh, and food. Uh, tech and I would just say um, stay creative, stay innovative, and remember to really try to articulate the passion behind everything you're doing. It goes a long way. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for having me.